Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Please excuse the hoarse voice. I have had a cold for the last several days. It's uh, clearing up, but I still sound awful. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with me. Okay, today I'm going to do a four inch equilateral triangle. Show you how to do that with using a, an inexpensive uh, compass that a lot of students use for geometry. A pencil, a ruler, and of course, a piece of light cardboard for your template. Uh, cardboard will work better because you will want to use this more than once and it's a little bit sturdier than just plain paper. Okay, so the first step in making your uh, equilateral triangle is to create a line segment that is the same size as what you want the sides of your triangle to be. So for the triangles I'll be teaching on the, this channel over the next few weeks, the triangle boxes are going to be made out of 4 inch equilateral triangles, so I'm going to draw a 4 inch line segment, though you can draw any size you want. Now I also want to note here that if you do not have a compass and don't have a few dollars to purchase a compass, I will be showing you how to uh, create an equilateral triangle using just folding techniques in tomorrow's video, and I'll link to that here if it's in the future. The only thing with that is that it does have quite a few more steps, so if you do have one of these, this is much quicker. But it's totally up to you, how, however you want to do it, I'll have instructions for both. Okay, so with your little compass, you're going to set it so that the pointy end and the pencil are the same distance apart as your line segment, and lock it into place. You're then going to take the pointy end and put it at one end of your line segment and draw a little arc that's roughly where that third point in your triangle will end up being once you're finished. And double check, make sure it's at four centimeters, or four inches, or ten centimeters, and it is. And draw one more line. Now by the magic of geometry or the uh, fascinating bits of geometry, uh, this crossing of the two arcs, that point is exactly four inches from one end of your line segment and four inches from the other end of your line segment. Equilateral triangle, of course, meaning all three sides are the same length. And that is exactly what you'll have created here. Now when you measure it, if that isn't four inches, it may mean you need to uh, try it one more time, uh, being especially careful to make sure that these two points are exactly four inches or the distance of your line segment apart. So something interesting about equilateral triangles is that this angle, this angle, and this angle are also the same. They're all 60 degrees, and as I said before, all of the sides are the same length. So now all you have to do is cut it out. And that's it. One four inch equilateral triangle all ready to make a whole bunch of boxes. Now I do like to label my triangles so that, uh, or all of my templates, so that when I use them again, I know exactly what it is and, uh, you know, maybe perhaps label what I've used it for as well. So when you go to make your box, put down the kind of boxes that you're creating with it. So once you've got this, you're ready to start making all of the boxes that I'll be doing in the triangle series, unless otherwise noted in the video. And as I said, tomorrow's video will be how to make one of these without a compass. So if you don't have one, don't worry, there will be a video ready for that coming tomorrow. Please subscribe so that you are all ready for all of the boxes I'll be making in the series. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys!